All right, we're back. Jump right back into it. Some, uh, talking with Aaron. And we are just about to, uh, talk here. No way around and kill time. Aaron's never done us wrong. Following that guy always leads to some interesting, interesting shit. 30 seconds in. Can we talk? You want to know about Samson and Richie? Those guys are a couple of shithead cheaters. I lost to them big time. That's how the ball bounces, I guess. Cheating's only cheating if you get caught in the act. It's on me for losing, but there's something they did that got me pretty upset. What'd they do? Did they do you dirty? Tell me, I'll avenge you if they did. Thanks, Aaron. I'm not mad about anything they did in the match. I'm upset they broke a promise they made. Before the match, they said that if I went broke and couldn't cover my losses, they'd only make me pay what I had on me. Then after I lost, they did a heel turn and said I had to give them everything and I had them then some. They told me if I couldn't fork over the cash, they'd put me to work at the Messledum Trading Company. What? Are you freaking kidding me? So that's where Almada comes into the picture. After that, I called up Saiyan Hung and borrowed the mirror I needed from them. They came in clutch for me. If I wasn't broke up, broke out of my ass, I bet money their their others got suckered in by those suckered by those sniveling bastards. I'm gonna murder those assholes. Any idea where the hold up? I think they said they were staying at the Kowloon Hotel. They told me to head there if I wanted some revenge. Oh, I'll be getting some revenge, all right. Instead of dealing out cards, we'll be dealing at ass kickings. Yeah, not happening. You're supposed to be watching me do my thing. Quit trying to call the shots, it's my job. Fine, fine. Better hurry the hell up, though. If you start taking your sweet ass time, I'm bailing, got it? Sure, do whatever you want, bud. Anyway, we still don't know enough about these guys. I'm gonna head to Newtown and do some snooping around. Coming with? Sure, whatever. Off we go then. I thought we were just going to be sticking around that side, but we're getting a full nighttime tour. So, where are we headed? The Kowloon Hotel. I want to ask the receptionist there some questions. I should be able to get plenty of info out of them since Heiwe is my client. But I'm sure they want this Almada mess cleaned up nice and quickly. They're probably kicking themselves for letting the Mafia in the door. It's their fault for underestimating outsiders. So we gotta deal with them as well as these cheaters. They, if they really are doing illegal gambling, then we may need some backup. Might call up a couple experts I know. What kind of experts are you talking about? We'll find out soon enough. Okay, I'm curious. If we're talking about experts, it'd most likely be gamblers, right? Oh, hey, how's it going? Now where did Max run off to? I thought I saw him earlier, but I think it might have been just a look-alike. This might be tougher than I thought. I'm not giving up. There's a story to tell about him, then darn it, I'm gonna tell it. I'll do whatever it takes to bridge the gap between me and Dingo. Alright. All the luck in the world is needed. I promised I saw me to spend time with him, but I fell asleep. I feel terrible. The park is a peaceful retreat from the noisy hustle and bustle of the city. Maybe that's why I get so sleepy every time I come here. Ami only just woke up now. She must have been really sleepy. She's got the same bedtime, though. Got any suits at nighttime? Oh no, you're closed. Phew, I'm beat. Can't even muster the energy to close up shop. Meanwhile, the pasta guy over there is still full of vim and vigor. How in the heck's that noodle had not dropped that tire? Power of noodles, I guess. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates. Gives you energy. Whenever I gaze at the lights of Langport, I think back on the time when I ran all those businesses. Langport went through some hard some hard times when I was a young lad. The city was being put back together, my companies flourished. Over the years I passed all them on to the younger generation. Except the sauna. That's still an important business to me. In fact, I think I'll go check on it tonight. Man's a perpetual liar, so yeah. You there! Grain of salt. 
There's none in the world that rivals this evening's view. Except pasta, of course. Did you know that pasta pairs excellently with wine? Perhaps you should consider taking a swig and a swig and a slurp as you relax and enjoy the night sky. It's quite fortuitous that the shivering breeze is carrying the scent of olives. Those who are seeking warmth will no doubt be drawn here. Hey there. See ya. Always check to see if they have something new. Welcome. Doesn't hurt. I recently learned Elaine and I are from the same hometown. He's been very, very encouraging to me. He told me that even though Eastern cuisine isn't popular back home, my dishes will win them over. My dream is to open up a new branch of Orion, so Orion, so that so that they can be exposed to and ultimately accept Eastern culture. So you and Elaine grew up in the same place, huh? You should know that'll be a tall order. Some of the people there have got some serious prejudice against Eastern culture. Not just them. The world's full of jackasses who turn their nose up at our culture. Doesn't matter if they've never had an Eastern dish in their life. They'll shit on whatever you serve just because they aren't used to it. I know. That's why when I do open restaurants, I, s I want to start, start them with something simple. The people back home may have some preconceived biases. If they get hooked on our food, they'll grow to love it for sure. Elaine gave me that piece of advice, among others. I mainly wait tables here, but the head chef has been teaching me all kinds of recipes in our downtime. I know the people of my hometown are prejudiced, but I'm sure our dishes will win them all over. I'll open a restaurant there, and in time, the people will come to embrace Eastern culture. What can I do for you again? Darren's a sweet guy in a little, but he's about he's about as energetic as a bear in hibernation. He's also a bit of a limp. Poor guy passed out right in front of me when he saw a dried bat at a food at a food stall. A dried bat? I want to eat something from there, but he practically begged for us to come to this restaurant again, so here we are. Oh well, we know what shop that is. Whew, I'm pooped. We did a heck of a lot of walking around, so I'm just about ready to hit the sack. It, Katyusha's a lively gal, but being dragged from place to place can be a little draining. A slight dinner ought to put me up. Then I can go, go relax in my hotel room and sleep like a rock. One more person. The owner. I hope you enjoyed your meal earlier. You're a friend of Elaine's, correct? Then you're a friend of mine as well. I owe her a great deal. I come from Long Lai. My goal is... The goal is to serve their dishes to more people, so I decided to open up a restaurant in a place that tourists flock to. Oh, so it was Long Life Food. Miss Elaine was right on the money. No wonder the taste was so familiar. If I'm remembering right, the lineage over there is pretty far removed from Hayway. Must be a pain. Yeah, it's caused me no end of trouble. That's why I call upon the guild when I'm in a pickle. Elaine's been a great help on that front. If she weren't here, Hayway would have walked all over me. That's why I'm forever indebted to her. I decided to repay her with my cooking. My experience working at the inn in Long Lai has proved to be invaluable during my stay in Longport. However, the distance between Hayoway and me is as wide as the ocean. Conflicts are never ending. I don't know what I'd do without the bracers in Elaine. Alright. The Bracer Guild area. Hello, Aaron. I heard you got into a fight. Again. I'm surprised to see you walking around with the Spriggan after that. You really are the, the ma mercy of impulse, aren't you? Shut up, quit being a horse's ass. Why is it so hard for you to mind your own damn business? Did you forget that you're my pupil? How dare you talk to me like that? You're in strict need of some discipline. Every member of the Gekka school is supposed to hold themselves to a higher standard of blah blah blah. Okay, good talk, lesson learned and all that. Gotta bounce. Oh no you don't. You are not getting out of this one, Aaron. Yes he is. He is our he is our uh, tagalog for this night. Keep getting into these fights, and I'm just going to have to keep lecturing you. One of these days, you're going to hurt people around you if you continue along this path. I mean it when I say I don't want that to happen to you. So please, just try and think before you act. Okay? All right. Receptionist. There we go. Oh, hi, Van. I see you brought a friend with you. I heard you two butted heads over in the Harbor District, but it's all wondering the bridge now, right? Maybe, maybe not. I'm still pissed we didn't finish our fight. And we have your beauty's blade to thank for that. Speaking of which, I hear she and him went on a nice dinner date afterward. That she treated you real good. It wasn't a date and we weren't alone either. 
Anyway, I heard Elaine came here specifically to deal with Amara. Still wondering how she was up to date on the situation when she's barely had time to investigate. That's because we brought her up to speed. We've been tracking Amada's movements and had intel on their leaders, so we forwarded all the information we had to Azutha. Wow, you guys are on top of this shit. How the hell did you get the lowdown on their leaders? <laughs> we have our sources. Contrary to your belief, we're not always one step behind. Fair enough. It's good that you can give Elaine a foundation to work off of. You guys are pretty damn competent, and you're more hospitable now than when I first came to Longport. As, as soon as we contacted HQ about Amada's movements in Longport, Elaine immediately requested to be sent here. She said she made contact with their boss once before. Maybe that's part of why she doggedly, she's doggedly pursuing this. Regardless, we intend to support her as best we can. It'll also be in the city's best interest to get these Mafia goons out of here. Uh, let's see. Can anybody up here? No. Hot on everything. The view from here is gorgeous at night. I could gaze out at the stars and the lights from the eastern quarter all day. I hear the views even more beautiful during festivals and celebrations. They line the streets with paper lanterns, apparently. Maybe I'll visit Longport during one of them and take pictures from the top of the Great Spire. There's somebody walking around. Ah, it's the, uh, delivery man. Got one last delivery to make. I can call tonight. Speaking of nighttime, Longport feels like a completely different city when the sun goes down. Don't get me wrong, the city's gorgeous at this time of day. But it's also scary, especially with Hayway out in full force. I heard all sorts of rumors about them, and even if half of them are true, I shiver. You you can go on your way now. Alright, we'll start low and go high then in a little bit. Gotta love how that's still a thing. I hear this year's film festival is going to be held in Tharbad. I wonder who's going to win the award for best director. Personally, I'm rooting for director Lamp. Although, I am a big fan of director Goatee too, so I wouldn't mind if he won it. Every time I watch Roll's Requiem, I find new things to love about it. Director Lamp is a master of his craft. I only started watching Kowloon Pictures films when I moved here, but I quickly became an avid fan. I was drawn in by their unique settings and atmospheres. Thanks to those movies, I made friends with Easterners who have a shared interest in film. Uh, we got an achievement? For doing what? Topics broached. I see. Ten fortitude droplets? You mean... 100 HP to, to Van. Oh, that's defense. 14 HP to Van. We gotta buff up our main character. It's just the way to go. I've been asking around about those gangsters. Just, do it. just doing some plain old information gathering. It's good practice for any copper bracer. That's how we got our info on Amada's executives. Well, I say we, but the credit for that belongs to a friend of mine. I need to remember to thank him later. Whether it's investigating in the field or doing our rounds, Hayaway makes things tough for us. People in the Eastern Quarter trust Hayaway more than us and the cops, though they defer to them more often than them. That's why, that's why Xia Ling is such a huge help. People here know and respect her. There it is. I was trying to go through the window. I don't really have time or energy to cook dinner. I think I'll just buy enough ready-to-eat meals to last me the week. Wait, do I do that every week? Ah. Uh. You have to be careful in handling ingredients from foreign nations, otherwise you can get really sick. In order to responsibly sell foodstuffs, I studied up on Eastern cuisine over the years, and I had my family test out. And I had my family test out my cooking. I've been getting compliments from Eastern chefs, so I think my efforts paid off. Ah, oh, welcome. I hope to see you again. Please step on up. I don't remember how long it's been since we uh, checked our money supplies and set up. Until recently, we primarily sold imported goods from the Central East, from the Central East and the East. 
Though, now that international relations with the Empire have stabilized, we can sell imports from Ordis and, Overl and Overland routes. It seems like the Empire's smaller companies have been taking an interest in Central Eastern goods. Our department store has been doing what it can to help mediate the Empire's trade market. What'll you have today? Uh, we have 9,000. Pretty good. Checking to see if any of these seem like they might be limited. Doesn't Thanks for coming. Good. What'll you have today? Thanks for coming. We have no separate in storage. The clerks here are very kind. Thanks to their advice, I was able to find some good souvenirs for my family. Now that that's out of the way, I'll be able to focus on the negotiations tomorrow with a clear head. Now I'll be speaking with the representative of a company that wants to put some distance between itself and the syndicate here. A customer from earlier told me she, he came all the way to Longport to buy a Red Star automobile. Apparently he got a model that can only be purchased directly from the dealer. Must have been a big fan. We know that guy. Red Star is just getting more and more popular. Hopefully I'll be able to work there someday. Do you know what you want? We can actually afford the plugins that we couldn't afford before. I want to buy them. Uh, our Sepith reserves are very low. Welcome. Ah, Aaron. Aaron needs to open up his slots, doesn't he? Uh, we can open up this one. Now, he also needs Sepith. We don't have a lot of that. Let's see, he has Cameo. Fire and Wind. Blast. <laughs> Do we have one that is... Aegis Shield? H level 3. Interesting. So you can't use certain arts until... Their hollow core level is a certain amount. I guess Aegis Shield would be too powerful to have in the early game, but they don't want you to have it. Here, take Flare. That's a good one. I hope to see you again. Maintenance mode. That's a single element slot, boss. Damn. Do you know what you want? See, can we make any good... No, we can't even afford any green ones. I hope to see you again. Maintenance mode activated. Uh, we need three for him. Do we have any spares that we Skill just loadout slap updated. in? Skill loadout updated. Oh, sweet. Skill indeed. loadout updated. Maintenance mode oh, we could activated. Move this, just and just move it into the Maintenance next slot. Maintenance mode. That's a single L skill loadout updated. And we'll throw action. Skill here. loadout updated. His hollow core is kind of annoying. I had a few concerns about my choice of trade of late. Since our department store is under the Kowloon umbrella, we get a slew of orders from Hayaway. And ever since the mafia arrived, Hayaway and the authorities have been apprehensive about the circulation of weapons. Hello there! Thank you for visiting the Kowloon Department Store. We are all set. That's too expensive. I think we can forego forego getting Do that you equipment. Know what you want? Just double checking if these shops had like a uh, actual buy I items see you again. section. Oh that is that is some chicken scratch right there. That sign. There they are. Driving around the neighborhood got me all psyched up. I think it's time to party the night away. Alright, Hades, let's leave our cars here and go out for drinks. Then we'll head home first thing tomorrow. And we're not grabbing a hotel room. We're gonna do some car camping. 
can't be serious. We're going drinking now? Sigh. I guess we would be driving all night if we start heading back now. Never mind car camping. I'm uh, not exactly champ champing at the bit to sleep in this. Well, sleep in this thing while drunk. My company is thinking about working together with other foreign businesses. Well, I'll be meeting with a representative from a company in Liberal tomorrow. It's for the best. We can't keep relying on the Kowloon group alone. Kowloon Financial Bank's HQ rests at the top of the Great Spire alongside several other offices. Many tourists love to look down on Olive Line for the observation back there. I recommend you do the same if you haven't. There's a restaurant on the deck so you can dine on some of the finest cuisine Longport has to offer while taking in the night view. I want to do that. Whoops. Is this readable? No. Not even close. Hey, look who it is. Shoot. Hit another dead end. I wonder if I could find a single clue. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, don't tell me you're one of those tabloid vultures. Stalking is a crime, you know. I ain't no journalist, my dude. I don't give a rat's ass about what you're up to. Though I am kind of curious about what you meant by, if only I could find a single clue. So you were eavesdropping on me, were you? Well, that's none of your business. Now leave me be. Even a superstar like me needs some time out of the spotlight. Fine, fine. Let me know if you want me to find something for you. Be happy to take your money. Check every place I could think of. Maybe I should try someplace more rural. I still think this plan can work. You could turn turn to villages outside of Krill, such as Amorica and Crossbell. If we if we outsource the production of the ingredients for the supplement, domestic farms can make Eastern herbal medicine uninhibited. That's true. I agree that we can't ignore any opportunities from it for advancements in Eastern medicine, but the business landscape is constantly evolving. Central Eastern and South Sea markets have seen many changes due to the influence of Alice. And the same can be said of Ored, which used to be an imp import partner for agricultural goods. We have to be selective when choosing projects to back, so we need to run the numbers and look at the state of the market before deciding. Long sentences. Alright, we got a couple topics to broach with people. So let's start here. Doesn't seem like they're making any moves. Can we talk? Pardon, I don't know what you're talking about. No need to be coy. We already know that you're keeping an eye on the Messledom Trading Company. I tell you're from around here, so I got a pretty good guess as to what your real job is. I could reveal it myself. But I'll let my buddy here do the honors. Are you seriously testing me? Screw off. I'll play along. I've seen this guy around town a few times, now that I think about it. He's most likely, uh... It's a Hayway spy. I doubt they need to plant a spire to get info on them. They could just lean their in on their info network. More likely he's a son of a bitch. We're going to try to get the achievement for getting a perfect uh, score on this. Good thing Durante handled this game. Let's see, there should be autosaves, right? There we go. So this 3846 one is the most recent. There we go. I'll just check up everybody's dialogue just to get it out of the way and make sure we have any potential unique dialogue. Spire, huh? Although the only one that probably matters would be Maxim.
Wasn't expecting a sudden choice. But honestly, I thought he'd be a Heiwei spy. Hey spy. But I guess he's a officer then. But I doubt he's a bracer. Nearly missed that, that actual guy. Alright. Lock it in. Can we talk? Let's schmooze our way on over to police officer. Given that you're doing a stake out of this place, I'd guess that you're either a cop or a detective. And here I thought the Longport police were all useless, but you're out here trying to be stereotyped. That's off to you. Keep your voices down. If you wish to talk, follow me. Not bad, kid. Don't patronize me, asshole. So what can I do for the famous Langport prodigy, prodigy, prodigy in the spring? Did you say you wanted information on the cheating duo? Yeah, all we know is they're connected to A. Got anything else for us? I do. Our primary target is A, so I don't mind divulging this information. They aren't official members of A. The two of them and the part-time gangsters have only just been hired. Samson and Richie have made a splash in the gambling scene. It caused quite a stir back in Nesseldom. Unfortunately for them, they pressed their luck, they set their sights on swindling A out of their money, and they paid the price for it. They were collared and put on tight leashes. The two of them were... The two were given Jaeger dropout bodyguards, but otherwise they're being treated like dogs. To A, they're on the same level as, as the part-time gangsters. Well, ain't that convenient. So in other words, they're expendable, which means it could bring them down without fear of retaliation. But what are you two plotting? Nothing, he's just met messing with ya. We're gonna resolve this nice and peacefully. Yeah, what he said. Thanks for the info. Right. Anyway, just stay out of our way from here on. In lightning. And I'll slap another save down just in case it makes us do another decision. Right, hang on. Ben is currently out. Yeah, my apologies. If you'd like me to relay a message, I'd be happy to deliver it to him. Yeah. Can we talk? Welcome, Mr. Arkwright. Oh, and I see Aaron is accompanying you as well. How may I help you two gentlemen this evening? We got a few questions for Heiwei. Trying to find those damn cheaters. You know anything about them? Oh, we're actually in the middle of investigating that matter as we speak. We've uncovered a few things, including the fact that the cheaters are linked to A. I also know about the incident involving your friend. It's a good thing he avoided the worst case scenario. Had he not been able to pay up, he would have been handed over to A. That's about all we know at present. Sounds like their info lines up with SIDS. I'm gonna make those cheating bastards pay. No, I wouldn't have to if Heiwei would step in. They seem content with letting them roam freely. If we're fine leaking us info, then I'm gonna assume Heiwei's cool with us tackling this issue however we want. Yes, you may deal with them as you see fit. Those two aren't official agents of A, so they're of little concern to us. Really, now. At present, they're relaxing in the room. Would you like me to relay a message to them? Not right now. That's probably all the relevant info we're so gonna they're find. Here in the building. What's next on the agenda? Wanna go raise some hell? No, we're stopping at the park so we can go over everything. No hell raising. They're gonna make us actually cover everything, so I'm gonna save beforehand. We gotta check it off. We gotta go over our truth bullets. So, what's the plan? You're gonna bust into their hotel room and rip them a new asshole? You wish. I'll just leave a big old mess for Heiwei to clean up, and I'd rather not be indebted to Heiwei. It'd also make it harder for me to move around freely. I got a better idea. Instead of fighting with this, I say we fight with cards. Want to gamble with them? That's right. <laughs> you never struck me as the high rolling type. I considered that option too, but I tossed the idea when I realized Sid and I wouldn't stand a chance. You confident in your card playing skills? More or less. Though I'm probably not as half a, sh it's ha 
I'm probably not as self-assured as you. Jack told me you normally win one in every three games against him. That's no, that's no small feat. What if I told you I win two in every five games against him? Oh, you think you're better than me, huh? Who's calling you self- who, Who's calling who self-assured? I'm just speaking objectively here. I can hold my own in a round of cards. That said, our opponents are at least as good as Hale, as Hal. We challenge them by ourselves to definitely stack against us. So I say we team- I say we up the odds by stacking our own deck with a couple of aces. Or specifically, a jack and a hall. You're the man with the plan. I'm surprised at how calm you are about this. Right back at ya. I had you pegged as a dumb, reckless brat who ran headlong into danger. But tonight's tell me you can think things through. I've got brains and brawn. I'm the whole package. Don't blame you. Don't blame you for thinking of me that way, though. I know. I know I get into a lot of fights, but really, I don't enjoy pointless conflict. People in the Eastern Quarter are the closest thing I have to a family. You don't have any relatives? Nah, I'm died when I was a kid. Well, the people in town took me in and treated me like one of their own. Even Hayways had my back over the years. This to be true of La. How the heck do you pronounce that? Lao Yayi? Yayi? Yayi too, but. He's been distancing himself from me lately. Hmm. Anyway, I'm just trying to do what I can for the people here. I won't let anyone tie me down, though. I've always done whatever the hell I wanted. That's not gonna change. That right. Why the hell am I spilling my guts to you? Can we go back to talking about the plan now? Your thing. As far as I can tell, Samson and Richie are genuine gambler. Yeah, genuine gamblers. They might be cheaters, but their skills are legit. I bet they're on another level from us. Probably fancy themselves as being on the same plane as Jack and Hall. And they want everyone else to think so too, which is why they challenge Hal. But they steered clear of Jack so far. Which is fair, Jack's basically a living legend among gamblers. You gotta be on your A game and have all the luck in the world to take him down. Exactly. Even if you're a cheating bastard, winning won't come easy against him. So, we're gonna make the idea of challenging him less intimidating. Any guesses as to what I have in mind? I'm gonna bait him with something. Ooh, I get it. Where are the bait? Bingo. Now let's go let's go get Jack and Hal on board. We just teleport right there. Oh, we can go to the harbor district? Let's do this. Okay. Oh, we got an optional event. I think I came here. Now, what's it say? It. Smuggling takes many forms, but I'm pretty sure Heiwei doesn't do it the conventional way. Most do it at night, but as far as I know, Heiwei doesn't. It makes me think they've got other means of getting the job done. One of these days, though, I'll catch them in the act. I bet one of their subcontractors will do it around this time someday, and when they do, I'll be on them in a flash. Look with that. You haven't had much success so far. Okay, that should be the last of today's goods. Let's load up. Let's load these up on the double. Cops in the guild are busy dealing with the mafia, so now's the time to make some dough. As long as we're careful, we'll make out like a bandit. My coworkers will be none the wiser. These two are up to no good. I guess a harbor city like Longport's bound to attract guys like them. Yeah, he anyway doesn't have as firm a grip over the harbor. You still have to have a lot of guts to attend something like this. Product has been down recently, but we can make up make it make up for it now. The mafia is basically doing us a favor here. I was freaking freaking out when that fight broke out this afternoon. But you're as cool as a cucumber, Gasly. Lastly, I feel so much safer with you around. We'll let them be. What a sweet yacht. Well, got? nothing. There's a shop over there. Oh, it's this Damn guy. Shame our fight had to end when it did. It's just getting good too. How about we take it from the top? Let's go. Yeah, I'm good. Hard pass. I don't got that kind of energy anymore. 
Yeah, the hype kind of got killed when it was interrupted by Elaine. Guess those gangsters aren't going to drop in tonight either. Those guys can be a real pain in the neck. I hear they've been stirring up trouble for people. They really are just a bunch of rude little shits. I can imagine what kids like them would want with something so old. Welcome. Replica coin. Hell by it. Thanks. Okay, so what's the deal with whatever's going on over here? Oh, Elaine. Huh? What's Elaine doing here? Oh, right. Probably on patrol because this is, because of all this Almada business. Is there any reason why you stopped? Just quiet. Bye. Oh, it's the Beauty's Blade chick. I bet you calling yourself that. it be me. I seen that in front of her. She'll have a sword at your throat. That touchy about it? Anyway, just shut up. I don't want to get caught. Ah, uh, you shy? No, you idiot. It's just gonna be a pain in the ass if she spots us. You really want the guild poking their head in your business? Point taken. Oh, she's leaving. So you two know each other or something? Used to work, yeah. I try to avoid her most of the time, but I haven't been able to do that lately. Uh-huh. Alrighty, let's get back to the investigation. Enthralling. Warning. Unauthorized entry prohibited. Up ahead is the naval port for the Republican Navy, and the South is the Armada. Entry beyond this point is strictly prohibited. A year and a half ago, our Navy could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Empires. Albert invests more into their air fleet these days, though. But our ships are still pretty impressive. You should check out Check them out during the next naval review at the Revolution Festival. Our Navy's supposed to get a slew of new equipment soon. Might be some new weapons among them. We'll definitely use this opportunity to modernize the Navy. We have to make our president proud. Whoops. No reason to go this way. So we can we actually go into the storehouse over here? What would even be here? Nope. Uh, I always press all the wrong buttons before I find the right one. Let's do this. Uh, nothing new popped up. So let's gamble a little bit. Who does? Any comments on on the beauty of a car here? No. He doesn't care about the F one fifty. Alright, do we have gambling minigames? Say yes. Hey, we got some new news on the investigation. Pour me a glass, Al. Great thing. I'll be happy to serve you one in the house if you can get this cheater business sorted out. Don't expect any alcohol, though. Now sit your asses down and tell me what you learned. Gotcha. I think we finally uh, got a good handle on the situation. It's pretty much exactly as we imagined. Those who can't pay up are forced to do grunt work for Almada. You guys are the scum of the earth. Can't let them get away with this. So what do you think about my plan? It's not a bad one. Join up with me and me while Aaron pairs up with, with Hal? They might accept our challenge. They'd piss themselves if they had to face both you and Hal. But we might get them to bite a few to our teaming up with a couple of fresh faces. Remember, the two of us still have to pull our own weight. Can't expect Jack and Hal to carry our asses. You'll be fine. I know full well you're no amateurs. So I'm confident you'll do great out there. I think this is a solid plan. Don't you think too, J too Jack? Yeah, of course. Before we go charging in, I want you guys to memorize some signs. So we're cheating the cheaters, huh? I don't mind fighting fire with fire. Does that mean we're cool with passing cars to each other under the table? Let's not go overboard. Then again, I'm sure our opponents will be doing that some, too. But yeah, I should mention that you and you and I will have a different set of signs from Jack and Pam. Don't got much time, so let's get right into it. Time to memorize. I put my right hand over my face. 
I needed to discard the king. We'll do that when we're changing cards. If I rest my ch if I rest my chin on both hands, it's your cue to discard the queen. If I scratch my head, I want you to discard the jack. Those are the three signs I'll use on them and for for four of a kind. I'll be counting on you to get those cards in my hand. However, if you're one card away from a straight flush, then toss out any cards you don't need. When you do that, I'll be sure to get you the card that leads us to victory. Got it? Alright, one more thing. Cough, cough. If I cough, I want you to drop out of the match. I only use a sign if I think our opponents have a better hand than us. Always good to know when to quit. That's about it. Got it memorized. Oh, man. I'm, I'm not intelligent. I'm, I'm going to cheat as uh, this game intended. Explain it again. Can I just do backlog? There we go. Let's see. Right hand over my face. I, I could just uh, take a picture of the log. I'm going to have him explain again just so I can access the backlog. And then I'll skip ahead to the end of it. So let's ju I'll just delete that. I can get the cue of everything. So let's see. Let's take some pictures. So let's see, we got right hand over the face, discard the queen, rest chin on both hands, discard the queen, scratch head, discard the jack. If you're one card away from a straight flush, just toss out any cards you don't need. And then cough, drop out of the match. So we need one more picture. Alrighty. We are ready. We are very likely going to be using every one of these signs. Got it memorized. Yep, committed all to memory. Same for me. Sounds like we're all ready. All that's left is to call them up. But remember, left the head straight there once we do. Let me know when you're ready to go. My body is ready. Done with your nighttime stroll? And what are we waiting for? Let's challenge Samson and Richie. Challenging the cheating duo to a match will cause the main story to advance. When this happens, we will no longer be able to explore Longport at night. We're good. We've done everything. Alrighty then. Time to bring the fight to them. I'll contact them now. Jack got in touch with Samson and Richie at the Kowloon Hotel and challenged them to a match. The duo were more than happy to accept on one condition. They wanted to determine where the match would be held. Van, Aaron, Jack, and Hal all agreed, and thus they made their way to their suite in the Kowloon Hotel. Let's be smooth like smooth little babies. Well, well, it's the man, the myth, the legend, and the flesh. You made it long last, Jack. So good of you to come out here to play. And he brought that king's adorable little daughter with them. It's been what, a week since we last saw each other? Ready to get your butt whooped again? I'll be doing the butt whooping this time. Like them rile up, Hal. Gamblers always gotta keep their poker face up. I know. I think a Jack told you about us over the phone? I'm going easy on us. We're just a couple of newbies. Ah, so you're the prodigy in the Spriggan. Never heard? We never heard of you back in Messeldom. If you're only rookies, then you made a big mistake coming here. You just dropped into the lion's den and we're gonna tear you limb from limb. Ooh, I'm shaking in my boots here. Bet you guys are all barking no bite. Alright, that's enough trash talk. We don't have all day. Let's get this game on the road. Alright, let's play. 
Can't wait to finally dethrone the king of gambling. Your lucky streak is about to come to an end, Jack. <laughs> we'll be playing poker in pairs of two, as we agreed. No peeking at your partner's hands, though. At the end of the game, we'll tally up the chips and team with the most will be declared the winner. Sound good? Works for me. So who's dealing? Your bodyguards? I'll be the lo I'll be watching them like a hawk. If I spot them cheating in any way, it'll be your loss. Fine right, by me. These guys know next to nothing about gambling anyway. They're just a couple of bodyguards we hired through Messledom Trading Company. This is a battle between warriors who hone their craft to an art. We're not gonna cheat. The victory won't feel earned if we do. <laughs> and there I thought you had no pride, but now I see it's just fickle. We'll see if they stick to their word. <laughs> they all have the same, just, uh, pose. Double on table. Samson and Richie aren't full of hot air after all. They're no pushover. They're no pushovers, that's for sure. It's a close game so far. I think our boys will pull it through, though. Old Fart's putting up a good fight. Yeah, he's doing great. I had to pull a few, a few tricks out of my hat to get this full house. This is a slam dunk. He wants me to drop out. <coughs> Sorry about that. This mirror is here dry in here. Yeah, a little. Let's give me one of the signals. What did I do? Hold. We will follow the master gambler's advice. I think a sign for folding. I imagine I lose this hand. I need to put my trust in the jack. Fold. I'm out this round. Hey, I wasn't expecting you to fold. Was full of surprises, aren't you, Spriggan? Yeah, he had a very slightly better full house. <laughs> Push the bullet there. Call, Van. Just had a gut feeling. This is safe, Jack. Nice going. It's always good to know when to pull back. The heated battle raged on, both sides unrelenting as the tide shifted back and forth. Eventually, it all came to a head where Folding would spell certain defeat, and the victor would lay claim to every chip on the table. So we are one card away from the flush, or whatever. Hey, okay, got the cards for us straight. Oh frick, get bad cards. Tonight just ain't my, ain't my night. Which one is that? We're one card away from a straight flush, but uh, he needs me. He needs to discard the king for a four of a kind. But uh, let's see. Is, was there an order priority? Well, you we are one card away from a straight flush. Okay. So yeah, it's up together, man. You need, you need to have your head in the game. Not fooling anyone, you know. You know you're up to something. And his right hand in his face. It's another one of Jack's signs. I discard one of my cards, but which one? Oh. So you actually want... I thought we were... I'm pretty sure we were one away from a straight flush. Wasn't it? But he wants to discard the king with the, uh... Hand on his face. Yeah. Jack wants me to discard the king. Aiming for a four of a kind with kings. Be the one to lead us to victory. But when the chips are down, you can always bet on Jack. Alright, swapping a card. Nothing appears for me. You're luckier than I was. Be for yourself. Or kings, well done. However, it won't be enough to be this. You hit your head or something, that's three of a kind. Wait, what? That's not possible. I knew I had four aces. What the hell happened? <laughs> that was like a magic trick. That was one of King's one of King's special techniques. It lets him control his opponent's cards. Jack's the only only other person who can use it. What? I haven't seen that move in a long time. Because they're down down five hundred thousand Mira. Wanna keep going? Of course we will. We're not going to back down after a loss like that. Done with you. We're, we're, 
We're done with you though, Jack. I want to play Hal and the redheaded guy. We're gonna squeeze him dry. Yes, eat that. So, what was that about squeezing us dry? This is humiliating. It's one thing to lose to Jack, but getting our shit kicked in by these nobodies just plain embarrassing. You expended all your luck in your match with Jack and Ma'am. And now you're down one million Mira. Time to pay up. Guess we have no other recourse. Except to run away. Let's scram. Smoke bomb. Or flashbang. <laughs> Cal, get down. The damn flash grenade. Cowards. We can't let them get away. Let's go after them. You two handle things here. Got it. Good luck. Oh, this is a familiar area. You seriously, follow us all the way out here. Bad move. Just sign your own death warrants. I think we're good, actually. Let's see what you're made of. Here I go. Ah, it's a nice two on two. <laughs> oh, God. We're sorry for that. Displaying enemy stats. So we got two Jaeger dropouts. Noted. Get ready. Delay S, seal with a back attack bonus, and Come straight and insight. Send you flying. Ah! Now you won't fart. Consume HP. This'll hurt. Hours. Activating skip. Soar for me! Boost gauge limit crushed. <coughs> Dispatching shield. Nice. A good miss, too. Let's see, what do we got? Here. Got take the Thalos. You can use the HP. I'll take that. Here goes. This'll hurt. Now you won't fart. Take that. Dispatching shield. Go time. Is that blue thing Energy supposed to be maximum. like more likely to do the combo right. things? Is that what that's supposed to be? Come and get me. No, we can't get it. Now you will fight to Here goes. And break yourself. Bit of punch. And that'll do it. But no, why? Please just let us go. We don't have any money. The Mafia took every last mirror we saved up. Come on, I beat you guys with a punch there. Well, lucky for you, we don't care about the money. Best up, you and hand handing the people you beat to the Mafia, right? Well, well, we were just following orders. Yeah, we had no choice. It was us or them. I don't want to hear your pathetic excuses. Save your breath. At this point, we should just give them over to the right people. No point in getting rough with them. It ain't worth it. Can't be serious. Fine, I guess you're right. So, who are you handing them over to? Hmm. We decide. Racers, police, or Hayway? Hmm. I say we hand them over to Hayway. Well, if you really want them to pay for what they've done, then Hayway's the best option. Yeah, they won't show them any mercy. Especially since Easterners were among their victims. The severity of punishment might change depending on how many of them are caught up in their scheme. Either way, they'll be punished a hell of a lot more harshly than if we gave them over to the guild of the cops. Good with you? You aren't going to hear any objections from me. Want to go ahead and get in touch with them? Yeah. Hell's Hotel Receptionist can help us there. 
band contacted Hayo and gave Samson and Richie over to that them. That takes care of that. Looks good to me. Only one SP. Oh. It was because we were one away from the straight flush. I think the jack was the missing, was the uh, card that we should have gotten. Probably gotten 2 SP for that, so I said we go back and do that. I'm, I'm just gonna skip all. We're gonna... Oh my god. Spoilers. I was not expecting that to happen. <laughs> Alrighty, let's uh, let's try that again. Let's be nice and fast. Just gotta skip ahead to the gambling game. See, is it randomized? Should be interesting. Uh, it does not appear to be randomized. So we fold then. So basically, Jack always wins. He just does some bullshit thing if you uh, lose, or at least should lose. Yeah, so like if we look at this card, yeah, the Jack is not a... Uh, it's not it. So like, we trade out the Jack and then he gives us a Jack of uh, hearts. So we discard the jack here. Jack wants me to discard the king. It's beyond for a four of a kind with kings. So he did tell me to aim for a straight flush if it's within reach. So discard the jack then. Alright, swap in a card. Jack free. Always well prepared. Straight flush of hearts. How about that? But what? I lost with four aces? Okay, we underestimated you. That cost you the game. Didn't do that bad. <laughs> and Jack making a great team. Almost jealous. And then there we go. So he he, he does literal bullshit. If uh if you get it wrong. That's kind of funny though. He magically swaps cards with the or swaps the opponent's cards somehow. The world's greatest sleight of hand. Alrighty. Can't get both of their side attack bonuses. Attack. Annoying. Eh. Frozen. Time. Energy output at maximum. Activating skin. This will hurt. Now you will. Oh. Alright, now we should get 2 SP properly. We're still handing them over to Aoa. That's a wrap. <laughs> Love to see there it. There it is. Alright. 
Now, how does that situation occur? Well, it wasn't as smooth as I'd hoped, but what's done is done. Hey, you know if there are any public baths around here? Even better if they got a sauna. Old Man Wang's got one just down the way. Don't tell me you're aching after one little scuffle. You gotta work on your stamina, man. I could stay up for three nights straight with energy to spare. That's not healthy. Looking like a true teenager. <laughs> stay jealous. I know you should... I, I know. You should go for a massage instead. Oh, wait. That put an old fart like you out of commission for a few days at least. Dude, I ain't that old. Sheesh, don't know if I could put up with you if you weren't handy in a fight. So, you're doing theater and what? It's a plan to just join up with Hayaway at some point? What, I hit a nerve? Why do you care what I'm doing with my life? No reason in particular. All I am is an outsider who floats into town from floats into town from time to time. There are some things you can only really tell a person like there are some things you can only really tell a person like me that ain't got a stake in your life. Not gonna force you or anything, mind. <laughs> this place is special to me. I can mess around with my friends and go up on the big stage. I also got a bunch of memories of being with mom here. Sure, AOA does stuff that ticks me off, but I still go I still go way back with Ashen and her family. Though me and Lao Ye aren't really close these days. Tao's a shady son of a bitch, but it's obvious he's a sh he sharp as attack. Smart people like him can move up in Aoi. It's not a bad idea for me to join up and see how I do. I just have doubts sometimes. You suddenly find yourself wondering if you really belong here. You have the right to have a life that's nice. Little self-doubt growing up's totally normal. That's in everyone. But I get the feeling you're kind of like me. You love someone or something so much, you have to let them go. Yet you don't have the heart to tell them that. Damn. Lay out the romance movies, old man. All this sentimental crap sounds ridiculous coming out of your ugly mug. Get my face out of this. Anyway, take it from me. You can make a home for yourself anywhere you want. It could be some far off land, or maybe you go on a long journey to end up right back where you started. Point is, you have to decide that for yourself. How about that? You and me couldn't be more different, but I get what you're saying. Sometimes it feels like the world's fading away around me. Probably just imagining things, or maybe I really don't get enough sleep. I'll see my bros or Ashin, hell, even the city lights, and my vision just kind of hazes over. It makes me sick. Ah, uh, really love this place, don't you? So much that doubting your love for even a second makes you hate yourself. That's so wrong. You telling me I shouldn't hate Almada for coming in and trying to mess shit up? Or be pissed at Hey Yue for letting it all happen? Screw all of that! I've got to protect this place! I've got to prove to myself that I belong here! That all my doubts are bullshit! But if I gotta be the one to do it, you and the guild are in my way. I already know you're damn tough. And I like the way you handle your work. But I've already made up my mind. So you gonna get the hell out of here or what? Respect the hustle, kid. But aren't you just jumping the gun a little? What are you talking about? I get it. You're a bit a, you're a bit leery of us because we we're looking for working for Sal. Thing is, I'll work for just about anyone at the jobs right in the mirrors there. But as you've seen. I work, I do things my way. Don't go loving me in with those sticks in the mud over at the guild. What are you saying? Van! We've been looking all over for you! Okay. The hell are you all doing here? <laughs> Pop's got caught going for a night on the town, eh? <laughs> Sucks being old, don't it? And it already. Hal and Jack told us everything. We've been worried sick. She's right. 
Wait, you're with Aaron? Jill, I can explain. First, Lane, what are you doing here? I happen to run into them on my nighttime patrol. Though I must say, you two suddenly seem close. Was one wild night on the town all it took to smooth things over? Huh? Oh, is this an adult thing? Of course not. Ah, tell them. It's a hot night in Longport. You're just getting busy with a real babe. The man here really knows how to pick them. Come on. Why don't you tell us more about this babe? And what does he mean by busy? Well, then... Why does everybody believe everybody else? Like, nobody believes Van. That's my cue to exit, exit stage left. Don't forget what I told you earlier, okay? Out of my way and... Huh? Why is your bag glowing? The hell? It. Look. The moon. It's doing weird things. What in the world? Fog's rolled in. I had a bad feeling about this. Fog is usually a bad sign in the trail series. I don't get what's going on, but I'm not gonna wait around to find out. Aaron? Wait, it's too dangerous. We're going after him. Right. What's going on? Dunno, but I don't like it. Go hide out in the bar. You shouldn't be getting sea fog at this time of year. Even if it's a freak off season incident, it shouldn't be this dense. Contact the other families. I need men stationed in every district. Yes, yes sir. <sighs> to think in return after 40 long years. It? Yeah, yeah. That's how you pronounce it. Are you saying this has happened before? Yeah, yeah. I'm not surprised you have forgotten. You were only a child when this fog last descended upon us. Assemble the Shongshou. We must fortify our defenses at once. So that's the, uh... That's the old man who is looking at the car. Who we are suspecting bugged it. We'll see. back to your homes stay in and don't come out it's too dangerous outside hey do you know where Aaron is I can't find him anywhere he went to go keep an eye on that outsider Hayway hired what about this fog I've never seen anything like Ooh. Sid hang in there say something what do you get whacked by? you bastards <clears throat> Oh. Well, looky like here. Gang. The whole bunch of them in one place. Our job of painting these streets red is just Oh no, they're wearing the mask of the sun. Or the duplicates <laughs> of the mask of the sun. Say! Wong! Damn it all! Oh, hello. Oh, great. I'll take point. Oh, okay. Wow. Is that an archaism? They're perfectly in sync. Look alive. It's not over yet. Those are archaisms. What are They're they advancing. doing here? Let's go. You don't even have a uh, fans to fly like the other ones. Very nice. How is Elaine not massively overleveled? You can't pass me. All right. So what she got? Lauren Dim, Delay, Lido, Fencer. I'll get them in one go. Silvery Cross, Seal, Newt, and Side with the Side Attack bonus. Neat. Get them in one go. Focus unleashed. Displaying details. Time to go all Packard. 
360R. Engaging skill. Oh, radiant radiant. We'll start off strong. Is over level. She's level 25. Out of my way! Go to hell! Hang on, guys! I'm coming! <gasps> the enemy has been routed. <sighs> what if there are more hiding in the mist? Don't think so. The fog's clearing. So they got what they Did wanted. Did you hear that? About ten people just fled the combat zone. We need to hurry. Damn. Oh, Adios. This isn't even a battlefield. We're, we're keeping up the, the trend back, with uh, people who are actually have names Let's go dying make sure. in the chapters. I don't like these odds. Let's have a good nap and take take everything back up tomorrow, right? Eh. Nine twenty one. The next morning, they washed away all the blood. September twenty first, twelve oh eight, eight twelve a.m. Allow me to formally introduce myself. My name is Gien Lu. He has serious eyes. Lou, that makes you... I figured there was more going on with you, but I wouldn't have guessed you were that important. Can't believe an elder from Hayway waxed my ride. Wait, oh, it is the same guy. <laughs> you still have much to learn, young man. Weird hearing that from you, but I take it you didn't invite us just for that big reveal. Of course. Naturally, we must discuss last night's events. Allow me to inform you of the Elder's decision. Hey, you have will remain on standby until further notice. And after the bloodbath? Father, are you sure this is the most prudent course? Today, we must bide our time and prepare our forces. In the interim, no one must mount an attack. On the morrow, Zhao will return, and we as an organization will resolve this matter in one fell swoop. Unless we solve Solve it today, because there's the Genesis involved. Whether Yin chooses to help us is no longer relevant. How can you expect us to sit idly by and accept that? Never mind the people of Longport. What about Aaron? He's been missing ever since the incident. I know him. He's not about to sit on his hands and wait. Are you both really just going to let him go it alone? Of course, we don't want to abandon him. However, it's plain to see this situation is balanced on a knife's edge. Our foes will expect retribution, 
So we only have one chance to get this right. <laughs> yeah, what you mean? Let's have an idea of what that retribution will look like and a way to counter it. Yeah, I've seen trap like, see, traps like these before. See, there's no need for me to explain further. However, I must append one note, a warning. Leave the city by dawn tomorrow. So that's where you're setting, setting loose your shadow warriors, huh? You didn't even send them out when you were beefing with the Red Constellation. You are remarkably well informed. That altercation was simply a consequence of another family's poor decisions. Had Sao failed to quell the incursion, our shadows would have been released without a second thought. But for everyone that Jaegers have more sense than Almada, I guess. I'm beginning to understand what Sao sees in you. Perhaps I will miss your services again one day. Or shadowing. With that, I bid you farewell. Fair travels on your return to the capital. There they are. Why didn't you warn us that they were here? Uh, one last question for you, old man. What's with the cold shoulder to the kid? Been sulking about it. Simply put, AUA is a complex organization. This crisis presents an opportunity to let external woes reveal internal wounds. Perhaps you will understand this too in due time. Well, if the elders say we aren't acting today, then that's that. I'll leave it up to you to decide how, how, decide how and what to, and to what degree you, to investigate last night's tragedy. My only request is that you look out for Aaron as much as possible. I feel the same. His friends are like family to him. He'll be willing to pay any price to avenge them. Makes sense. He was overtaken with rage before. I'm worried about him being out there on his own. Speaking of worried, I'm getting worried about you getting back to Edith on time. If you don't make it back in time, a certain bracer's gonna bite my head off. Sorry, but please let me stay until the end of the day. There's something on my mind that I need to see through. Kind of important. Figures. Alright, you got until the last train tonight. No more extensions. I understand. Be careful, everyone. If you need support, we'll do what we can. I'm counting on you, Mr. Arkride. Aaron's in your hands now. As long as it's the kind of work a spriggan like me can do, I'll see this through. Alright. Bet you, bet you already know the game plan for today, right? First, we need to investigate what's happened last night. In particular, where that strange fog came from. It's possible there's the Genesis involved. We need to track down Aaron, too. For all we know, he's already charged headfirst into the enemy base. The enemy likely being Almada. Not bad. We've got all the big stuff. While we work on the information gathering, we'll knock out any other small tasks that come our way. I want to check in with Jack, too. We may as well hit up the cops in the guild while we're at it. Long story short, short gotta roll with the punches. Right. My nose is just clogged right now, and I hate it. I need to work on that. Maybe I should get some, like, nasal spray or something. Take it, like, in the evenings. Because I have an allergy medication I take in the mornings. Helps during the day, but seems to wear off around nighttime. But it says it's a 24-hour medication. But, uh, gotta love that. My husband may seem aloof at times, but he's the type who get always gets a job done. That's part of why... Guihafandian is still flourishing. I'm still in shock over the horrible incident last, from last night. Stay safe, you all. It's a dangerous world out there. Um. So we have our party members now. Yay. So I got all nervous again when I was asked to chase people away this morning. How the heck did those assassins sneak in here without me knowing? Always got, I always got... I'm always gotta be thankful for Hayaway for looking out for this old place. Nice, we found a spelling mistake. But I won't lie. It felt like my heart stopped for a sec when I caught a glimpse of Master Jin pretending to be a servant. Alrighty. Give me a second. 
going to remove him from the sidebar for now. It was, a, it was a surprise to see people being cleared out so early in the morning. Maybe I should hole up in my room today and plan for my next and plan my next trip. After all, I'd rather not do anything that would make me come off as suspicious. Over my travels, I've learned to keep myself keep to myself when trouble starts brewing. No need to be shy now. I'll see you again. We should be able to turn this in the stuff we got last night and rank up. That's Hell how it yeah. goes. Rank up. And we get. Damn. It's pretty rank. generous. Fence ailments, all ailments, 75%. Nice. It's really good. Didn't think we get something like that this early. We take those, though. Track down Amana and Aaron. We'll go around this way. Church. When did I get, up, get caught up in such a horrible tragedy? I'm not even worried about my business right now. I just want to get home safely. Oh god, so heavenly mother. Please save me. What happened to say, along the other victims, fills me with great sorrow. I truly hope their souls can rest in peace. We perform our duty and send them to the heavens above. That is the best way we can honor their courage and their memories. In accordance with the wishes of the surviving families, Arrange to collect their bodies once Heiwei is finished performing the autopsies. I will make arrangements for the funeral while caring for the citizens' mental states. I just can't believe it. My former students are dead, and Aaron ran up. And Aaron's run off to get revenge. Barely keeping it together, this is just too cruel. Oh, Heavenly Mother, please watch over Aaron as well as my remaining students. Well. A lot of people only have one line of dialogue, which is nice. Oh, did you hurt something? Want us to go in there for a thingy. Oh, he might be performing the autopsies. So glad you're all okay. I can't believe what happened last night. If you look for Dr. Long Kai, he's in the examination room. Looking after the sole survivor of the attack. If we'd gotten there a moment later, the guy probably wouldn't have made it. Interesting, so there's one guy who lived. What's gonna to happen to Longport now? No matter what happens, I plan to stay by Lo Dr. Long Kai's side and walk the path of medicine with him. Do you know well, what you want? I hope to see you again. We'll do all of the main quest points last. As per usual. <laughs> How can I be tricking after last night? I was going to challenge Aaron's friends from gambling. Sob. Sad day. Sigh. I hate this kind of stuff. I hope those mafia goons rot in hell. I wish there was more I could do to help. Take a lend Passan a hand. As far as dealing with those rat bastards, I'll just have to pin my hopes on Jack and that red-haired kid. I don't rely on Hayway, it seems. This would be a lot easier if they'd step in. Some regulars of mine were among last night's victims. I feel so helpless behind the counter. I'm not like you or Jack. All I can do is watch this place. I've got a nasty feeling about all this. You guys are playing to dig around. Be careful. No need to be shot. See you again. What's up? Plans to jumpstart the tour business again were halted. We've got a mound of issues to deal with before because of last night. They only put me in charge of tourist safety, so how we proceed with the rental business is up to me. I remember that mist all too well, and it's reared its ugly head into our lives once more. When it appeared back then, many, many of us lost so many things we held dear. Will history repeat itself? Has it come to take even more from us? When will it ever be satisfied? I wonder. I want to hear the story about the mist. Somebody elaborate. I can't believe it. I never thought I'd live to see this all happen again. Uh, you okay, pal? It's pretty rare to see you freak out like this. I'm alright. I was just caught up thinking about the past, that's all. I seen that mist a long time ago during a very dark chapter in my life. Is that why you and the older people around here are all out of it? Something happened back then. I... Well, you see, it's not my place to tell you, I'm afraid. Please forgive me. The hell? Why should you be so tight-lipped about this? Now that I think about it, though, he's very much like... 
No, I must be wrong. I'm letting my anxieties get the best of me. Sorry, I think reminiscing about that time in my life is giving rise to some irrational thoughts. I can't believe I doubted that child for even a moment. It's utterly shameful. I must go to the temple and meditate. Perhaps that will ease my troubled heart. Well, good stuff right here. The very I feel bad about what happened last night, but now's not the time to close up shop. Dr. Long Kai placed a rush order for medicine, so I have to get that done as soon as I can. Either a lot of folks were injured in yesterday's incident, or like me, he's still thinking about the past. No, I must be overthinking things. Regardless, I'll be keeping an extra eye out for trouble. Take as long as you need. I'll be waiting for you. One person over here, it's the guard. It pains my heart to hear about what happened to Aaron's friends. I can't provide any specifics, but according to Heioi's investigation, they suffered unnatural deaths. Currently strengthening our security in light of this event. After last night, Heioi decided to strengthen its security. I'll do everything I can to protect the Lu family. I've heard Aaron is looking to get revenge. I understand how he's feeling, but I fear he will act recklessly should he walk this path. Is nobody going to talk about the, uh, the archaisms that appear? I feel like that's someone important because it means Ouroboros is very likely involved in some way. Unless archaisms are now common tech that uh, every mafia has. Last night was rough. Always hard to hear about young ones passing on so soon. Not sure what's going on with the mist. I asked older folks about it, but they were as silent as a grave. It's like they know something. It wouldn't surprise me if this is all connected to a past incident. I'll do some digging. Tell me what you learn. Because they won't tell me. Fortress Metal. Ah. Come again. Hello there. Come again. I guess we can sell the uh, stuff we bought or got from the uh, one fight we had, right? Well, actually, technically two fights. We fought the, the bodyguards and then the dogs and archaisms. Uh, I'm too scared to go out, but not having a grasp of the situation is frightening in its own right. The strange mist left me completely unsettled. Grandpa never told me about this. In, time, in times like these, I normally lock myself in my room and read a book to calm my nerves, but I think I'll seek some wisdom from someone older. I thought, this, I thought I was the smartest person in the room, but the fact that I didn't listen to the words of others shows that I was the ignorant one. Look as long as you'd like. 490 mirror. Thank you. I can't believe it. Long and the other other guys are gone? Can't be. They're so strong. This just doesn't feel real. That's all the more reason why I have to train. Someone has to protect this town and Shin. And I won't stop pushing myself until I'm on the same level as Aaron. Good kid. It's hard to believe that some of our own were murdered on this very street. Even I knew the boys who were killed. Everyone's shaken, including myself. I'll try to focus on my work. All I could do to all I could do to help is make food that will hopefully cheer people up. Take your time looking. Be seeing you. So dangerous these days. What happened yesterday? There was all that mist, and apparently there was an incident outside. I'm glad we were in the house. But I'm concerned about Linlin. She was in a daze last night, saying she could feel something was wrong, and she said this before the mist appeared. I need to sit down with her and try to figure out what's going on. She knows something. When the scary mist came out, I got goosebumps. I also felt like someone was watching me. Even if I was looking scared, what's going on? <laughs> Thanks to that Imperial moron from yesterday, I made the killing. I made a killing for the first time in ages. I'm not really feeling the luck today, though. Everyone's kind of on edge after last night. I considered using that to my advantage, but when I heard there were casualties, I thought I'd better not. Guess I'll just cooperate with Heiwei for the time being. You come to the yeah, thanks as always. My noodles are the best. Nestor and I are in a funk because of what happened last night. Today he messed up the noodle prep for the first time in ten years. We gotta get it together. People's spirits are at an all-time low, so we need to do our best to lift them. These nerves are like chewy noodles, flexible and strong, but also easy to cut. We're going to put smiles back on people's faces with our noodles. We'll get through this together. What do you need? There you go. Thanks. 
Adric. Things got a little strange last night with the mist. Is this one of the mystical wonders of the East? Is it a common occurrence here? Regardless, it was quite the sight. I would have taken some pictures, but my camera suddenly broke on me. It's too bad, really. Oh well, I've got a treasure trove of stories to tell when I get home. That's good enough for me. And this is awful. I can't believe the I can't believe locals were murdered in cold blood. Even Elaine couldn't stop it from happening. I gotta get my act together. I'm worried about Aaron, but right now I have to focus on the investigation. The perps are still on the loose, and we're gonna be the ones to catch them. Alrighty. Maybe we already collected the bodies, but there should still be other clues that'll lead us to the perps. You can leave this one to us, Brigand. We'll take it from here so you guys can head back to your inn. Now we're, we're not gonna leave it. Oh, this group is great. <laughs> I might have gotten just a teensy bit carried away yesterday. So sorry. Uh, we went on and on about the Eastern Theater this and the Eastern Theater that while we were out drinking. I'm getting a hangover just thinking about it. I know I said we, get, we should enjoy ourselves to the fullest, but everyone's on edge after last night's incident. Let's not get carried away again. Fine. I guess I could show a little restraint. I'll just stick to rummaging through the theater's gift shop. I think she's developing an obsession with that place. I suppose now may not be the best time to sightsee. I don't think we should wander around aimlessly either. It's too scary around here. I'd love to watch another performance and cheer my heart out, but I'll st just stick to shopping their to stick to shopping their wares. I'm becoming mildly concerned about her. She is a theater nut. Can't wait to see her whenever we show up over here. Or possibly around, like, the movie theater. We'll see. I'm still in shock about what happened to Aaron's friends. The boys used to come by this place all the time. I considered canceling our performance before the day, but I don't believe they would want that. They loved our theater more than anyone. We will do our utmost to put, put on the greatest shows this theater has ever seen. That is the best way we can honor their memory. Performers are all thinking of ways to raise people's spirits after last night. They really have an amazing strength of spirit. That might be why they're always able to put on such spectacular performances. Maybe it's insensitive for me to think about the fan club idea now, but I really want to spread those positive vibes to the people that need them. Whoops. The performers are working extra hard to cheer up the locals, and Almada's been thinking about starting her Am Amalia's been thinking of starting up her fan club so she can s share some positivity they're all so amazing unlike me I'm just so worried about Aaron I can't think of anything else what do you have today thanks for coming anybody else two people over there I just can't believe those kids are gone now I used to come here quite a lot I hope Aaron's okay we love them all like family we're all down, but we're not out. I'm gonna perform my heart out because that's what those guys would have wanted me to do. I'm not sure if Aaron's ever gonna perform again after what happened last night. So I'm gonna so I'm going to sword dance in instead. This is where us pros have to show our stuff. Nobody in the back. Let's see, is there anybody else we need to worry about? No, so let's hit the new town. Also, what have we got? Pretty sure only like things only show up if there's like an actual marker there. So yeah. Hey, did you see? There's a new movie. I heard there was an incident last night in the Eastern Quarter. People are talking all about that weird fog. I tell my friends over there, okay? We could see the fog that covered the Eastern Quarter from here. It was settling. Evidently, there were murders that happened within the fog. I can't blame people for being cagey this morning. I wouldn't be in the mood to not I wouldn't be in I wouldn't be in the mood to go to the movies either. Deliver man. Last night was rough. Heard there were casualties. If something like this happens, I'm always worried I'll be caught up in Hayaway's business. It's so scary. But I'm more terrified that of the thugs that are out and about. Maybe Hayaway's a necessary evil after all.
everyone's talking about some weird mist or whatever, but I'm too busy having, ex having an existential crisis to care. It's like I'm stuck in a never-ending time loop of work and buying ready-made food. Ty. That's why I like to cook for myself and play bitch games. That have a story. And not replaying the not replaying games usually. New experiences and all that. I got a glimpse of the chaos unfolding in the eastern quarter while I was heading home from work. I was so distracted they end up making a mistake with the seasoning for dinner. My husband and son coughed so hard they started tearing up. I haven't seen that in years. Uh well I hope to see you again. Apparently people were murdered in the eastern quarter. All the customers today have come in with their heads hung low. I've got to work even harder so I can put smiles back on their faces. Well, what'll you have today? Thanks for visiting the department store. Thanks for coming. We hope you enjoy your stay as you browse. Last night sounded like it was pretty awful. Oh that mist what was with the mist anyway? You never usually get get that this time of year. And then we had those murders at the same time. Can that really be a coincidence? Do you know what you want? You can get an evade one, but also Aaron isn't in the party, so yeah. Welcome. I guess I'll buy a spare evade one. For I hope Aaron to see you future. again. When we get him back, he will uh, he will appreciate it. Never Is it true that there was an incident last night in the Eastern Quarter? Never seen fog that dense before, so I snapped a few photos. Is that insensitive? The sight of the fog mixed with the moon made for some captivating shots. There was something creepy about it all, too. During my meeting with Mr. Hongpa, I learned yesterday's financing issue was postponed, but at least they're taking our plan into consideration. Speaking to Mr. Hongpa, when I first, first got in touch with him, he thought I was Eastern. People make that mistake all the time thanks to my name, but I don't have a drop of Eastern blood in me. Hmm. I take back everything I said about Darren yesterday. He noticed I was really scared last night, so he grabbed my hand and led me back to the hotel. Then he comforted me and told me to protect me at all costs. Adorable. Something happened in the Eastern Quarter yesterday. Honestly, I was pretty terrified. I could see the fog all the way from here. Then I looked over at Kajusha and saw she was petrified. That's when I knew I needed to man up. It's been a long time since I last comforted her like that. This is the great in front. Spider. In the chaos in the Eastern Quarter, the Kowloon Financial Bank has entered into multiple emergency meetings. Maintaining economic stability in Longport is one of our directives. We need to respond promptly to prevent their economy from going into freefall. Alrighty. There was an incident in the Eastern Quarter last night. People here have been at a loss. I'll have to be sensitive to, what, to that while doing my job. Two more people. All the way over here. Oh. It's been a while since I've seen one of these guys. Uh, how do I... Trying to remember how to uh, ban. Here we go. Ban. There are civilian casualties. It's hard not to feel like we failed them. The races are all doing everything they can to bring the situation to an end. But at this point, we may need to call the main office and request some backup. I'm going to pour, up, pour through all the info we have on Almada one last time. Strange mist, strange mist mentioned in last night's report is concerning. Possible that it's somehow connected to the strange phenomena that transpired in Quail Village. We need to band together and figure out what what Almada's up to. Well, it is similar but different. You there? How some pasta sound? She's awake. When my son and I were heading home last night. We saw the fog in the eastern quarter. I panicked and tried to rush home, but in the middle of our run, I lost my balance and nearly fell. Thankfully, my son was there to break my fall. When did he become so dependable? He's growing up so fast. I could make more of an effort to play with him. We need to enjoy the time we have together. On the way home last night, Mommy tripped. I was so scared that I held her head real tight and stopped her from falling. 
Gotta look out for mommy. I don't want him to get hurt. Good kid. Everyone's fraught with worry over last night's events. I'm hoping my pasta can cheer people up a little. When I'm down, a bowl of noodles always perks me right up. Pasta, buckwheat, and eastern noodles will all do the trick. I just want pasta to make a difference in the city. And maybe you can do so by bringing smiles back to people's faces. Hey there. See ya. What the heck? Communicating. He always got the jump on us with the on-site inspection, but we can at least manage to catch a glimpse of the weapon's traces. You think the Almada executives are still here? Yeah, can't say for certain, but we should be ready for anything. I checked on the roads and the railroad, but there were no signs that they left the city. And she tells me their hideout isn't far away. Understood? I need to do some more digging to find out where it is, but I'm sure Elaine will have it pinpointed before me. Thanks for that info, by the way. I'm sure she's putting it to good use. Don't mention it. All I did was pass along what I heard. Nothing more. <laughs> well? Police and the Bracers agreed to work together on this case. I'm glad I get to work alongside Hornet again. Just like old times. Oh yeah, he was a former cop. We did read about that. I was just exchanging info with Detective Dark. We were partners back when I was a cop. Most of the top grass is terror-stricken by Hayaway, but there's still some people left on the forest who've got some backbone. In my opinion, the cops and Brazers need to work hand in glove. That, that's the way forward for us. Ah. We're doing some lessons. While I was heading, into my, heading to my sauna last night, the street erupted into chaos. My body moved on its own, and they managed to save some people. When things hit the fan, having martial arts training can come in handy. That's why it's so important to train your mind and body constantly, even in retirement. Looking for some. Ah, uh, I'm down in the dumps after what happened yesterday. Maybe I should take the day off. I'm sure one of the other part-timers could take over my shift. But the past the guy's still going strong. Sigh. Never mind. I feel guilt. Never mind. I feel guilty if I threw in the towel. What'll you have today? Thanks for coming. Heard people from the eastern quarter were murdered were murdered last night. Bono's heart is aching over this. He said we're going to stay open so that we can cheer everyone up with our food. I need to learn from his example and get my act together. If I want to open my own place in the future, I'll need his mental fortitude. What can I do for you again? So, Hanson, do you think you can leave trade between Longport and Bose to our company? I believe we can. The powers that be will find it favorable, I'm sure. Many years in Alberta will prefer not to do business with the Kowloon Group subsidiary companies. So I believe your proposal makes perfect sense. It has the potential to boost everyone's profits. Excellent. Glad we're on the same page. We too are thinking about lessening our reliance on Kowloon. This will surely help us improve our standings in Liberal. Agreed. I have ho hope that the fruit first fruits of our new partnership will yield a high return for everyone involved. Any businesses in Liberal wish to conduct more international trade. That said, some of them are expressly against trading with Longport due to its ties to Hayaway. Though I believe we are on the right track now. Hayaway hasn't crushed Kowloon's operations, but it certainly has a, has a stranglehold over them. That's why we can't continue to rely on them. We have to find our own path forward. So we're choosing to build roads to future success by partnering with international enterprises. heard all about the incident in the Eastern Quarter. It really pains my heart. I've been trapped in a whirlwind of trouble since coming here, but it hardly compares to the tragedy that befell those kids. I don't know if I'll find myself face to face with danger too, but I'm not going to flee. I will stay right where I am. If I shrink in fear, I'll be letting down every one of the bracers here. That just won't fly. Alright, Harbor District. Nothing really new here. We're going to the storehouse to deal with the enemy, that uh, enemy gang, aren't we? I hear some people got killed on Hayway's turf last night, but no one's talking about that. Whether that happened or not, though, I've got to continue monitoring them. I 
have no clue what happened in the Eastern Quarter last night. All I know is it's drawn the cops and Navy's attention away from here. It's time to strike while the iron's hot. We don't normally do our trade business in the day, but we can't pass this opportunity up. Oh, he's gonna get caught. I heard the people in the Eastern Quarter were murdered in cold blood. A <laughs> chill just ran down my spine. I wonder if the Mafia's behind that attack. Surely they wouldn't pick a fight with the Navy, right? Hopefully Glasley will protect me. I arrived this... They saw. This is a new guy, I think. I, I arrived here this morning only to learn that there were some gruesome murders last night. We're willing to provide whatever aid the people need. If there's chaos in the Republic's major harbors, it'll definitely trickle down... Have a trickle-down effect on El Same. We'll check in with him first. I heard those gangsters were involved in the Eastern Quarter murders. I think those guys would go that far. This thing's turning into a hot mess. Well yes, it done. is. Thanks. Business suit. Hi Hong. Bye Hong. Around the Eastern Harbor and a murder in the Eastern Quarter. What is this world coming to? Fortunately, this has no effect on the business. Trade and commerce with the Central East have been going smoothly. We have to keep this well-oiled machine running. Aha. Uh -huh. In the gate guard. We up the security after we heard about what happened in the Eastern Quarter. Better safe than sorry. It's our job to protect the harbor and the ships. As well as the sea lane. Sadly, some of the naval officers are negligent in that regard. They even deal, with, deal in the black market sometimes. We will start in the eastern quarter and work our way through. First up, the clinic. Oh, did you hurt something? We're here to visit him too, Arkwright. Wait, is that one of Aaron's friends? Did he survive the attack? Yes. The fact he's still breathing is nothing short of a miracle. Who's going to make it? His condition looks stable, at least. Is gonna, he gonna wake up anytime soon? I don't know. The boy is yet to regain consciousness. He just barely managed to hang on. There's a limit to what I can do here. I plan on having him move to a hospital immediately. AOA is handling things on that end, thankfully. I'm relieved that someone survived, but it's doubtful that we'll be able to ask him about what happened. Yeah, it's too bad. But I've got some good info from him. Looks like he lost consciousness from a blow to the back of the head. It's possible he didn't even see the attacker's face. Phyllis probably didn't realize he was just unconscious. Well, he might be the only reason he's still alive. I hope he doesn't have survivor's guilt after this. I can only treat the physical wounds. Whether his mental scars will heal is entirely up to him. By the way, has Saren come by to visit? He came at sunrise, but he left shortly after. Do you have any idea where he went? Not in the slightest. He didn't say a word for the entire time, which is very unlike him. He must be tormenting himself. Yeah. Try and help him if you can. He needs to be surrounded by friends now more than ever. Right. Make sure he's okay. I'll keep him alive until we can move him to a proper hospital. I only wish I could do more for Aaron. Please, look after him if you can. I won't be able to leave here for some time, but if you need a doctor, I'm your man. How you doing, bub? Can I chat with him? There we go. I promise to keep him alive until we can get him to the hospital. Aoi has already contacted them. In return, I only ask you keep Aaron company. Now we talk with Jack and Hal. Oh, just Jack. Oh, it's the sit- uh, The, uh, fast sit-down maneuver. Hey, Jack. You're looking better than you usually do this time of morning. I'd take that as a compliment. I just figured now's not the best time to be hungover. How are you guys holding up? We're doing okay, given the circumstances. What about you? I won't lie. I'm pretty shaken up. Some of the victims are regulars of ours. 
But you don't need to worry about me. I'll be fine. Say so. Is there anything you can tell us about the victims? Little, though probably nothing you don't already know. The thing they all had in common was that they were friends of Aaron's. And now he's out for blood. Either he wants to get revenge for him, or he wants to make a declaration of war on A. Worry about, worry about him flying off the handle and doing something he'd regret. You guys have any idea where he is? Has he dropped by? Well, I haven't been able to locate him, no. Could be that he's at the clinic. They're treating the sole survivor of the attack as we speak. Might be worth checking that place out. No, uh, we already went. They said we just missed him. Don't have any other info for you. Wish there could have been more help. Nah, that's cool. If you learn anything new, hit me up. Got it. I understand how he feels. I'm fuming too. Gas handling it a little better, but yeah, he's a tough it's a tough day for everyone. Don't worry about us though. For now, we need to find focus on finding Aaron and tracking those murderers down. I'm sorry we don't have much information to offer. We'll try to gather some while you're doing your thing. Okay. Not the only ones who are worried about Aaron. I'll touch base with my sources and see if I can get any inside info. Might also get some leads on Hay away and A, which is a whole other minefield. If those two go to war, this safe haven won't be safe anymore. Hmm. Well. Let's see, anybody else in this district? No. Oh, the eroded cave is uh then available. let's head over. Out of curiosity. I don't see any quest markers, and the and the tide has not receded. So, what's next? Wrong. There we go. Go go go! Banner launch. One of these days, I will remember the controls. I need to get used to hitting that button so I can fast travel very quickly. The Kowloon group has been holding emergency meetings in light of last night's events. We don't want to reinforce any of, in, inconvenience any of our guests, so we're trying to handle the situation. I saw the R in receptionist and somehow it blended into inconvenience. Should be drinking more water too considering the amount of talking I'm doing. Alright Ashen. I didn't realize you were here, Ashen. Oh, it's you guys. Sorry about earlier. It's like I sort of pushed everything onto you. Don't worry about it. If I felt like you were being unreasonable, I wouldn't have taken the job. Anyway, I know you guys are probably investigating the whole thing on the down low. Has Hayway sent down any clues? A few, but I mean, though, tell us about Aaron's whereabouts. Damn. What about Amada then? What we know about them is they haven't made any moves since last night. I have no idea where they're hiding, unfortunately. Ah, where could they be? I don't know. It's possible they aren't even in anymore. What? You think? Might have bailed so they could get out of Hayway's reach. And now that they've stained their hands with civilian blood, Bill's gonna be out to get them too. You really think Almato would just back down like that? Doubtful. But it's not impossible either. Actually, I don't think I do think it's impossible. And I can tell you why if you'd like. By all means. There have been no sightings of gangsters since last night. We have eyes on every road leading out of Longport. So if they had escaped, we would know. I can guarantee they're still in Longport. But a picture of a bunch of low-life gangsters evading Hayway's surveillance network. Well, I guess that settles that. Sorry I can't answer your other questions. Oh good, having confirmation on that alone is huge for us, so we should be thanking you. Give us in the loop if anything changes. Of course, I'm going to be talking with some other people about this, so hopefully I'll have more to share later. Alright, that's it for this area, I think. Shame we didn't learn anything worthwhile. So what's our next move? I think we're going to have to resort to venturing into enemy turf. By enemy turf... Do you mean the Messledom Training Company building? That's right. It's a risky play, and it, and it might just end up being a waste of time. Don't got many other options, though. 
Watch your backs and don't get too far ahead of me. Understood. Got it. It's gonna barge right in, huh? I dig it. If all were as it seemed, this would be Almada's home base. Yeah, but I don't think anyone's here anymore. Probably jump ship early to avoid fighting anyway. Still, our troublemaker might be in there right now. Are you going to infiltrate the facility then? That's what I'm thinking. Been out for traps, got it? Of course. This is definitely trespassing. But I suppose now's not really the time to be arguing. You're already saved for the trouble. Who's that? Oh, it's Elaine. What are you doing here? Sorry. When you when you'd become the breaking and entering type. Never. We supplied us with a warrant. In light of last night's tragedy, the guild can no longer stand by idly. I was hoping to find a lead here, but alas. Completely empty inside. Is that so? You think they moved to a new base then? I don't think this place was ever their primary base to begin with. Nothing inside suggests that it was ever used as an office. No, there were plenty of thugs that used to hang out around here. Literal dummy company, huh? Indeed. However, the fact that even the thugs have left must mean something. They were likely involved with what happened last night. For sure. Even if all the pieces aren't aren't all the pieces ain't clicking quite yet. I'm of the same mind. But what do you mean? What happened to those boys was no fight. It was a slaughter. One look at their bodies told the whole story. These aren't your average thugs you were dealing with. They seem more like the murdering type. Whoever tore up those bodies didn't show a lick of restraint. Honestly, I don't know if real Amada goons would be capable of that. I concur. Those wounds bother me even more than the mysterious fog that suddenly rolled in. That said, I fear we may see worse bloodshed yet. I'm going to investigate another potential lead. If you intend on continuing on this case, please be careful. The Messledom Trading Company might not be our only enemies here. Off she goes. Uh, she's got enough to worry about herself. I know she's strong, but will she be okay investigating like this? Can we work alongside her? Well, we'll cross that bridge and come to it. So, should we go look inside for ourselves? Uh, she didn't find anything, we won't either. And she would have mentioned if she found anything about Aaron. I just don't understand where he could have run off to. How is it that even Hayway doesn't know where he is? Both him and those thugs disappearing at the same time can't be coincidence. There's no evidence of them leaving the city, right? Nope, but that's an important fact. Hayway's got eyes all over the city, but there are still blind spots. I mean, we're talking about a city with a population of 500... 550,000 after all, not to mention the naval base. There's no way we can search everywhere top to bottom by ourselves. This is what Hayway is doing right now. But we ain't Hayway, so we gotta think outside the box. And he's gonna contact somebody just to do just that. Alright, this should work. Are you accessing normal network? What are you looking at? A real estate site. I'm checking to see if anything else went down when Almada bought this place. Oh, real estate? Is there a fake estate too? Is there a fake estate too? Hey, <laughs> bingo. A huge warehouse at the docks got rented out at almost the exact same time as this office. Can't see exactly where or who the client is, but I ain't complaining. Got ourselves a lead. Uh, so essentially this Messledom Training Company is a ruse meant to divert attention from the warehouse. Because that's where Almada's anti hayway forces are stationed. Oh, I see. Spot on. Time to hustle, gang. Huh? But we don't know where we're going to or who rented the facility. Oh, are we going to ask the realtor who broke the deal? Bad idea. If Almada did, really did rent the place, there's no way the retailer will blab. They just end up dead. Hell, for all we know, they've already been silenced. Almada's cool enough to do something like that. I got a better plan anyway. We're headed to the one guy who's got a better nose for this city than me. 
a certain lousy drunk of a gambler with low blood pressure and a partner who might as well have him by a leash. Oh, I don't think he'd appreciate that description of himself. <laughs> that is one hell of an uh, one hell of an extended description for Jack. Then let's head oh. over. We can we can just teleport right to the bar. That makes things easy. Hey Jack, got a sec? Well, look who decided to drop by. Been a little busy, as you might imagine. Let's get straight to it. Big warehouse was rented the same day the Messeldon Trading Company moved in across town. I want to know where it is and who the renter is. I had a feeling this might happen. What? Aaron asked us the same thing this morning. He told us not to mention his visit, but since you knew, know so much, there's no point in hiding it now. Who's was here? We finally found his trail. As to the place, I started paying attention when the realtor went belly up under suspicious circumstances. That was about three weeks ago, around the end of August. Keeping track of these kind of things as a side business of mine, so I kept my ears open and got a list of the realtor's other properties. Imagine my shock noticing the guy croaked the same day Messledom Trading Company moved in. The place was rented out by another realtor, so I didn't put the pieces together until our red-headed friend came knocking. So Aaron's been following the same line of logic as we have. And the realtor did end up being silenced after all. Oh, come on, where is it and who rented it? Darn with question two, it was rented by the Tharbad Transportation Company. Tharbad? As in the city southeast... Oh, in Southeast Calvert? That's right. Some call it the Gate to the Central East. It it, it makes sense you're, that you're familiar with it. Another generic company name, huh? Bet this one's a dummy, too. Probably. When I looked into it, there were no records of a company registered with that name. I never did figure out why they picked Darbat of all, of all places, though. Sounds like that's where we're going to be uh, traveling next. Could have chose a map, but... Cho Chose of the map and a DARPA for all we know. Anyway, back to question one. Let me send the location to your Ziffa. <laughs> Ain't you prepared? Hold on. Oh, it's at the wharf right next to Newtown. Really? But I don't remember seeing anything strange the last time you were there. Alright, let's get a move on. Aye aye. Thank you both for your help. I hesitate about telling you guys, to be honest. Aaron moved like a man possessed when he was here. Given what happened, I can't really blame him. Please help him through all this if you can. That's the plan. Blue family already requested the same thing. We want to help them too, of course. You can count on us. Well. Do what you can to help Aaron. In the meantime, Jack and I will keep looking into A. Hopefully we'll have a breakthrough soon. They have new dialogue, but they didn't list it. They know better than to keep secrets from you. Well, we're all in this together now, so we might as well help each other out. You take care of Aaron, and I'll gather information. Fair deal? Fair deal. I was wondering if he would say anything new. He does not. Taking off now. The warehouse should be close by, right? Yeah, just need to take a left at the corner, and then another left at the three-way junction. Right there. Alright, what time is it right now? 11.52, okay. We'll run it. How late could it possibly go? The place. Better make sure we're ready before we head in. I mean, we checked for all the side questy stuff, so investigate. This is where they've been hiding? Yeah. I'm on his base on the front lines for fighting Hayway. So, why ain't I sensing any people around here? Wait, there's something faint. Oh, look at that! The lock is broken. Looks like someone busted in, if you ask me. Judge by how clean that cut is, 
they used a Gekka technique. That's the School of Martial Arts Aaron Practices. Yep. Let's roll, gang. Yeah, I mean, who else would do it with sword? Mechanical Syndrome. Over there. Looks like pieces of those mechanical monsters we met in the fog last night. Did you mind the way they were destroyed? You must be in the right place. Yeah. Those are freshly minced, too. How does I'd like to call for backup? Or if we don't got the time. Seen a lot of bots, but no goons. Gotta be deeper in with Aaron. Remember to stay on your toes in here. Maybe some surprises waiting for us. Roger. Let's find Aaron before it's too late. Like a chest. Powerful deal. There we go. Easy. Away we go. Got the nice digital looking chest too now. Commencing combat. Your charge attack is ready for use. There we go. There we go. Now do it again. Enemy stashing out the time of the four shots. Took an eternity. Should use using nice. Escrass more often because you do get some stuff for it. Ooh. Okay. Ah, so it operates the conveyor belt. Well, nice. Now we can get that pesky container out of the way. Hmm. These enemies are like super good. Let's get to work. Numerous enemy targets to proceed with utmost caution. This is your chance for a shard boost. And these guys have like very little HP for what you'd expect. Energy out. And this can just do this and activating skill. Kill them all. Easy. Boost gauge limit increased. Those dogs are the real threat. You did perfect, Barry. I gotta flip it back so we can get the items. Boost gauge at max. Here goes. I'm on it. Show them what you're really capable of. Chest, leather wash, slow and delay prevention. I'll take it from here. I wonder if Anya just deals less damage against these guys. Lion robots. Oh, that's a good one. Get to work. Charge attack available. Dog got in the way. Hungry Bug MFLB. Loading enemy stats. Now this is a 
decently tough Don't enemy. Whoops. Uh, let's not do that. Let's throw in La Forge. Let's do some damage. Here goes. This'll hurt. Over here. All for you. Hit him fast, Barry. This, this is your chance for a shot. I can only hit one, so let's just do that. Here goes. This'll hurt. Let's see, we get the rear hurt. bonus. Nice. Thank you, Anyas. Hit him fast, Barry. This'll hurt. Oh, so close. We got him. Activating skill. Have some more. A chance. Oh, coin bullets it is. We need that seven. We need it. All you on, yes. There's literally no possible pass forward right now. And now there are two. Huh? Looks like a chest. I'm on it. Charge attack available. Soldier's Medal. Pat down 90%. So that's the improved version. I'm gonna guessing I'm gonna guess there's like one more stage. And it's just the 100 percent Looks like you'd want to move things to get over there. I have to figure that Looks out. Looks like the gang's all here. Let's get to work. Charge attack available. If only Agnes can make use of this. Oh, we got this though. Let's see if we can hit everybody with this. Out all the yes. Yeah, it dealt a lot of damage. I'll take it. This'll hurt. Hit him fast, Barry. You got this. You're 
freeze. Freeze. Do it. Dang it. He died though. Do your worst. Oh no he didn't. He has 9 HP left. Activating skill. Oh, the enemy pathfind or the ally pathfinding kind of screwed up for a second there. Smoke this charger. We still have our line preventing items, don't we? Activating skill. Nice. Uh, neutral to everything. Okay, so use whatever's most powerful. For the seventh. That's how it goes. I won't stop here. So just open the doors as well. Oh, okay. This allows us to get to the other side. But the doors are all still locked. Now we can get the box. Give. Burn. That's useful. Can anybody equip it? Maybe? Shifting to maintenance mode. You can only fit into this slot. Can't equip both? Works for me. But we have to find him fast. Charge attack available. There we go. Now's your chance to deploy shards. Have some more. They're down. Chance for a shard boost. And then just Ignis Rampage. Activating tons of damage. Boost gauge limit increased. Yeah, it's, it's a decent amount. This'll hurt. Not as much as I was hoping. But it works. for you. Drop, right? There we go. There we go. That looks like a nice chest. Should be safe for now. And we obtain airy verse. 
Wind Arch Reduction. Free arts turn, we wasted it. This will hurt. Use a shark to get the upper hand. Take that. Take this. Hit him fast. Energy activating skill. Sucker. Bring it on. Oh, you won yet. You're open. Activating skill. Why don't we get the counter things? I feel like I feel like the counters are happening a lot less often than they should. Bring it on. Oh, we're paralyzed. All you on yet. Where's the light? Light heal. Thanks, pal. Perfect chance. Activating skill. Have some more. Activating Great. skill. Nice. That went great. You're a true bomb. Then. Good recovery, also worth a thousand mirror. Huh. Looks like a chest. A suspiciously empty room. We know that means uh shit's gonna go down in the next room unfortunately it is past midnight so not sure we got enough time to uh deal with that at the moment sadly all right so we just double check that we have everything that we want we did obtain a little bit of sepith Custom, right? Let's see, it's 480 in each each slot here. We can't afford it for anybody, and, and we won't be and we won't be able to afford anybody's stuff for a while yet. Oh, we can actually unlock errands at the moment, though. Sure, might as well. know if we're going to need any of these special items, but uh, we'll find out when we reach that road. But for now, I am going to have to say goodnight. So, until next time, night.